Right, so what's good, YouTube? It's your man, the son of some man. Who's my son? Who's my son? Who's my son? Who's my son? And I'm back with another video. What's up, guys? What's going on? How's everyone doing on the opposite end of that camera? Hope all is well. Also, if you're brand new to the channel and this is your first time watching, thank you for tuning in. Can you do me a favor? Hit the subscribe button down below. We're closing in on 4,000 subscribers. And at 5,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So don't forget that. And come come and join the most loyal subscribers on YouTube. All right, guys. So we're going to hop right into today's video. Today's video, I'm going to do a 2001-2019 comparison on the Air Jordan 11 Low. The snakeskin, the blue color. Which, uh, how I got the 2001 pair, I didn't have. I was speaking about it on another video. And some dude hit me up. Uh, his name is Bob, man. Uh, he's like, bro, I got the, you know, I got the 2001 pair. I'm like, oh man, that's pretty dope. That's really sick. He said, if you want to review them with the, you know, with the 2019 pair, I'll send them right to you. I'm like, wow, really? Pff, I truly appreciate that, dude. You know what I mean? Then, you know, a few days later, the package shows up, and this is what shows up, dude: a pristine pair of 2001 snakeskins. Beautiful. This is the pair that I. I I've been dying for. We've had a pair, but the bottom was coming off. It was horrible. But anyway, man, shout out to you, Bob. Truly, truly appreciate you, your friendship, and everything, man. And not just because you gave me the sneakers, dude. Trust me. Uh, if you want to check this guy out, his uh, I believe his IG is Nice Kick. I mean, Clean Whips and Nice Kicks, because I think he also does details on cars and whatnot. But anyway, I'll leave all his uh, links to his uh, social media in the description down below. You can check him out. Also, you can check me out on IG and Twitter. My links will also be down below as well. Also, guys, I joined a cook group called Galactic Pings. Now, this group monitors over 200 sites. It'll let you know when the restocks are happening. It'll let you know pretty much all the information on sneakers throughout the entire month. And it's a small fee, I think, of 30 bucks to join. Or 20 bucks, something like that. But also you could use my code, the son of some man 10. Also, I will leave all that stuff in the description down below. You can check it out. I'm going to actually do something on that website. I'm going to see what it's like. And I'm going to actually do a video on that website and see, you know, you know, and let you guys see, you know, what the website is actually all about, man. Because I heard it's a really dope website and I'm so, so stoked to use it. I hope you guys check it out. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get into today's review. All right, guys, we're going to start off by taking a look at the box. As we know, the 2001 pair actually has the Michael Jordan face box, which, man, they need to bring boxes like this back. These are really dope. The face on the top of the box, you got your Jumpman logo there. And just a regular cardboard inside, all black bottom. You got Air Jordan 11 Snake Low. White, black, navy. Size 11. I'll check that out for yourself. Now we got the 2019 box. Which I think is another dope box, but it's not, you know, the Jordan face box. Anyway, guys, they got the, uh, the texture... And pattern of the snake skin that's actually on the sneaker throughout the entire box you got your chrome jump man white inside blah 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 let's see what this guy we got an Air Jordan 11 low LE white black Navy this is a size 10 and a half because this pair is actually my son's so the sizing is not off that much so it won't be you know that much of a difference all right, guys, we're going to start off by taking a look at the 2001's outsole. As you can see, it yellowed over time. As you can see, you got the uh, navy pods there. Then you got the jump man in the middle. Also, don't forget, you got your carbon fiber, which is really, really nice on this pair. All right, moving up, you got a standard all-white Air Jordan 11 midsole. Moving up onto that, you got this really, really dope material that is the snakeskin material, which... Personally, I think it's a lot better than 2019, but we'll get into that in a second. All right, moving up, you got your round rope laces. The leather is really, really nice on the uppers. The tongue is also made out of leather. Then in the middle, you got your Jumpman Jordan with your... Uh, it kind of looks like the Space Jam blue, to be honest, Jumpman. Very, very small. Moving to the back of the shoe, as you can see, you got your little Jumpman there. And as I mentioned before, the snakeskin wraps around the entire shoe. Moving up, you got the 23. I don't know if that's screen printed on 
I, yeah, I think it is screen printed in there. It's just in such good condition, you know, it doesn't, it's not faded or whatnot, which is really, really dope. Taking a look at the medial side, pretty much, you know, the same thing as the outside of the sneaker. I mentioned before, the snakeskin wraps around the entire shoe. Moving up, that leather is really, really nice. Taking a look at the sock liner too, it's actually really soft in there, but as you can see, over time, the uh, sock liner actually turned yellow. So, you know, you got, you got your pros and you got your cons with this shoe. But anyway, guys, that is the 2001 Snakeskin 11. Really dope, really dope. Hopefully one day I can own this pair, man. Really fire. All right, guys, now, we, I did a review on the sneaker, so if you want to check that out, you can click the link at the top of the screen and check that out for yourself. Now, I won't, I won't, I won't take up too much of your time. Now, taking a look at the bottom of this sneaker, as you can see, we got the all blue outsole with your navy pods, as I mentioned before, on the 2001 pair. You got your Jumpman Jordan. You got your carbon fiber here, but this one is like it's more, more, uh, more like silver and black than you know than the 2001. We'll take a look at that in a second. All right, moving up, you got the same standard Air Jordan 11 all white midsole. Moving up, you got that snakeskin, which is totally different for me. If you could see on the two pairs that the snakeskin is totally different color, it's just totally different, dude. But what do you expect after 18 years, you know what I mean? Anyway, taking a look at the medial side of the sneaker, it matches, you know, just the outside of the sneaker, what I mentioned before in the 2001. Same thing goes for the back. You got the little jump man here. You kind of got more space than the, uh, than the 2001 pair with that jump man there. Then, like I mentioned before, you got your screen printed 23. Moving to the sock liner. The sock liner on this one is all white, obviously, because it is brand new. <laughs> okay. Moving up, like I said before, you got your round rope laces with your all leather tongue, which the leather on here is, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's as good as, you know, the 2001, but it's pretty decent. It's not, it's really not bad. I mean, you know what you got to do? You got to at least wear them or you got to let them age to see, you know, to see what they stand up to. Like all these sneakers that are coming out, you know, you got you to gotta see how they do with age. Now you got a sneaker now, just say 10 years from now, I got... You know the just dons you know how how are they gonna hold up you know you, you, you just don't know until you know time <laughs> that's all you gotta do all right taking a look at the outside of the sneaker as you can see bolts bolt sneakers are pretty much the same but as you can see the 2019 pair the uh, snakeskin are actually wrapping around the entire shoe is not as thick as the 2001 was as you can see right there <clears throat> also moving around you got you got some differences with the blue on the uh, Jumpman Jordan in the on the tag in the middle. The 2019 pair you kind of got a darker blue, and the 2001 pair you could see it, it, it kind of looks like the uh, Space Jam blue on that. But as for uh, you know structure and you know the, the shoe, it's 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 pretty much the same, man. All right, guys, as you can see, the back of the sneaker. As you can see, like I mentioned before, the uh, actual snakeskin leather is thicker on the 2001 pair. And as you can see in the 2019 pair, it's kind of uh, it's kind of thin to me. Like from looking at it right here, from eye to eye, it's kind of thin. But relatively, everything is pretty much the same. Taking a look at the medial side of the sneaker, like I mentioned before, the patent leather is a little bit, uh, you know, thicker. But... As for the cut of the shoe, as for, you know, the midsole, the, everything is pretty much the same, guys. So, I don't know. But like I said, man, with age, will these, you know, stand up to these? Will these look like these in, say, 18 years? What do you think these will look like? That would be something. Imagine we could press a button and rewind, I mean, fast forward to 18 years. <laughs> that would be cool and that would suck at the same time. All right, taking a look at the bottom of the sneakers, as I mentioned before, we got the same thing, man, the same, same thing. Like I said before, only time will tell if that blue turns yellow. <laughs> anyway, guys, there you have it, the 2001 to 2019 comparison. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys actually think of the 2001 versus the 2019. Which pair do you like better? Let me know down in the comment section. And let's get talking. Until next time, guys, it's your man, the son of some man, and I'm out. Peace, guys.